Hey guys, Jeff Dickinson here. Welcome back to the Collector Zone. And man, do I have a killer video for you guys. Check this out. Today, I'm hanging out at the Fan Expo and I was able to meet a lot of cool people, man. A lot of souls out there that was just mind-blowing. So, let's share a little bit of that with you. This is actually like our first time doing a big build, like something like this and making armor pieces, so. It's a learning experience, but I was so excited to do this cosplay. So it's from one of my favorite video games. It's uh, from the video game Orcs Must Die 2. Whoa, now check this out. It's Harley Quinn. How you doing? Hi, doing all right. How are you? Doing excellent. Why I love cosplay is because it allows you to <laughs> see anything you want, whenever you want, and the smiles that other people get from seeing you in costume makes your day. Whoa, check this out. We ran into Stanley. I'm with the collector zone. We are talking to a lot of cosplayers. You thought I'd die, didn't you? Yeah. I, no, no, that was all a hoax. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a well, hoax. Well, I'm glad you're still kicking it with us. Ah, yeah. Literally. I want to stay up with you guys. <laughs> wow. Is this life size? It is full size, yeah. Full scale. Full scale. So we got the motorized antennas, the head turns, the small turret turns. Oh, wow. Well, hey, strangers. How's it going again? Doing good. Now, rumor had you had a actual big dinosaur as well here. Yes. Yeah, Can you show us that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right over this way is Blue the Raptor with our very famous raptor trainers. Wow. That's part of your exhibit as well? Yes, yes. it is. So we have Blue, our raptor. You'll be able to see her be trained in a live training with our handlers at Jurassic World, the exhibition, along with our baby dinosaurs. That's a trip, man. Whoa, check this out. It's Star Trek, but Elvis style. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. What? Tell us a little bit about your costume and what brought you to this point. All right, well, no, I just wanted uh, to do something a little bit different and I do some Elvis stuff, so I uh, made a full one-piece jumpsuit, but in the Star Trek colors. Oh, nice! There's over 775 decorations on the cape, all put on by hand. Uh, the belt is actually leather. Uh, and you got your and phaser? It has the phaser and communicator on this side. Well, guys, we're here at the autograph area. Come here and you can meet some of your famous stars. Um, my, my question's about um, Anton Yeltsin. You know what? I'm going to step off the stage. Go ahead. As close as I can. It's your, it's your show. You do whatever you want. <laughs> I lost control. <laughs> 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 um, Anton Yeltsin, who uh, we lost tragically way too soon, um, replied your character in the later Star Trek movie. Did you have any interaction with him as far as playing Chekhov? Yeah, I remember that day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for taking time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, Anton. I was invited to this set by J.J. Abrams, and uh, Anton wasn't going to be working that day, but they called and told me, and, and they dropped by, and, they, they, and he came, they came to the set. And we sat and talked for a couple of hours. Delightful, very bright, very talented young man. Um, and just, just a sweet guy, you know, just, just somebody that, just, you know, it's, it's, it's tragic, as you say, to lose anybody, uh, and when you lose somebody so young and with so, so much potential and, and so much you know, ability, it's just devastating. Um, it was his idea to, 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 to mimic uh, my accent. I told him that you know, I was, it was very flattering. Maybe he should make it his, his own, and not uh, because he has so much to offer. And, and, and could enrich the role rather than just just a mere replica of what I was doing. Um, but yeah, he was a delightful young guy. Um, I, we, there was a premiere of the series, I mean of the film, the first film, and afterwards uh, there was a huge party in a party 
Whoa, guys, check this out. Man, I've seen a lot of cool cosplaying, but this right here is awesome. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, brother. Great costume, man. Thanks, brother. <laughs> what you gonna do? The whole community runs wild on you, brother. That's uh -oh. excellent, man. It's a Star Wars shark. How amazing is that? Hello. No, I'm Moxie <laughs> from Borderlands. Right, oh, that's a beautiful costume. Did it take a while to make it? Yeah. It's, you did an awesome job. Whoa, check this out. Hi, how you doing, man? How are you, sir? <laughs> well, can you tell us a little bit about your cosplay and what got you to this point where we're at today? Well, no. I uh, got to this point about 300 years ago, you might say. What time is it? <laughs> but uh, I am a hawker for the odd duck. Uh, it is a store with collectibles. They are all individual works of art made by Alicia Passanisi. And nice. uh, it's just a whole lot of fun. Um, who doesn't want to do a con? We do this at Renaissance festivals, other events. Uh, this con, this is kind of our, the Fan Expo is kind of our sort of a uh, Super Bowl? Num numero uno thing <laughs> for the year. We really love it, love the people here. And, uh, and like I said, I don't know what else to say about it, except that it's a whole lot of fun looking at all these people coming out in these wonderful costumes. And, and you know, this is what uh, you do it for. Sure, I love cosplaying because it lets me be someone else uh, day to day. Day to day, I work at a job that keeps me very grounded, and this lets me be me. Excellent. And you, I, that is beautiful, man. This is my first time cosplaying anything. Well, so. I was going to say, are you really cosplaying? It's like I'm Eddie Valiant. Eddie Valiant. Oh, man. <laughs> See, I'm talking to a few of these folks. I'm like, going, that looks familiar. But yeah, excellent costumes, guys. Thank you. Wow, right? I mean, a lot of cool people there. So, that's just a little sample. I had too much that I recorded to put all in one video. So stay tuned to the Collector Zone, and you'll be able to check out a lot more of the footage, a little bit more in detail. Once again, I want to thank all my new subscribers and my OGs, the guys who were with me from the very beginning. I appreciate you all for joining the Collector Zone, hanging out, and enjoying the videos, because I really enjoy making them too. Until next time, players.